I forgot to press play. You had hey. one job. <laughs> one I job, know. Tony. One job. Come on. It's, it's a change this week. Hey there, guys and gals, all you have cats, cool kids, you diesel powered disciples of cool. It is live from the Houdini room at the Casa de Cool Comic Stravaganza Live! Brought to you by BBC Entertainment, GraphicPolicy.com, Comic City Conventions, along with the Cosplay Collective, and the Unlockable Characters! I am your host, Big Daddy Cool, Johnny Della Rocca, and of course we've got the bombshell kitten, Tina Vita. I'm back. And Darth Lee, Leanna Player. I'm still here. I'm still here. Yes, yes. Now, um, guys, we got a big show. We got an action-packed show tonight. We do. Tons of stuff going on. Um, and we got, we got to address your absence last week, <laughs> Tina Vita. All right. You, uh... You went to uh, to see the uh, Zelda concert. That I did. And that you I had did. you had an adventure though. Yes. Every time you are away from us, it's an adventure. <laughs> in, oh, in thirty seconds or less, no, a minute or less. Okay. Just right. make it quick. All right. So went to work, stopped over to my house, so while changing. In the car. In the car. Uh, went to my house, dropped my. Went to go into my roommate's car, <laughs> left my phone, which I was gonna tweet from, in my car, went all the way over there, was a slightly late, uh, ran in, sat down, had awesome seats, and for the first like 20 minutes, just for you, just for you, I was trying me. to Twitter, and <laughs> apparently they have cell phone blocker, which I appreciate just a little bit, to be honest. Right. And so, Halfway time, got myself a large poster, like almost the size of me, and an awesome shirt, which I will wear tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next week. Wait a minute. Next week. <clears throat> I thought something else happened. Didn't you have a flat tire, or did you get lost, or was there some other kind of detour that happened? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Trying to get there was the issue. Was like we wasn't lost. I know exactly where I needed to go. Just every single like little block. On the street was just not wanting me to get there, so yeah. <clears throat> That's how it always works for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, always works that way. So uh, she had a great time. Now, I almost forgot. Before we go any further, I have some huge, huge news. Mm -hmm. Today, about an hour ago, this is breaking, folks. Breaking news. I've been teasing since November about a big, big announcement coming, mm -hmm. and I've not been able to say anything about it until today because the official press release went out from Pro Se Productions starting this spring, early summer. My book, The Adventures of BDC, Big Daddy Cool and the Bombshell Kittens, is going to be published by Pro Se Productions. I'm so Yay! excited! <laughs> so here, here, here's the deal. It's a, it's a time travel sci-fi adventure story and um it uh it features mike me big daddy cool it features of course <laughs> mitzi lee Yay. and ginger lee the lee sisters kicking some cthulhu butt <gasps> yeah it's it's really wild it's set in the 1940s chicago but there's gangsters and monsters and superheroes <laughs> bombshell kittens and just cool stuff. We just threw everything in a pot. Yeah, it's Harry good. Houdini, <laughs> Titanic Thompson, Al Capone, <laughs> Wyatt Earp. It's, Wyatt Earp. Yeah, it's gonna blow your mind. Oh, Explosion. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I can't wait. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait. So, uh, yeah, big, big news there. So, nice. I'm excited. I'm yes. Not. Yeah, now, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, before we get any further, we've got a brand new segment. We've been teasing it for weeks. And we kind of did it kind of just for fun last week, but we actually have questions this week. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is time for Ask the Prophet. Yay! I've got my crystal ball ready to gaze into the future is that, and answer is that your, your... What? Is that our prophet? Well, I'm, just, the prophet. I'm the prophet. I'm the prophet of that. You're made in China's <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> okay. 
Leave it Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> D. Volpe sitting over at the uh, sound booth. Um, read us out a couple of questions from our viewing audience. Okay, this is from Fine Secret Base. Okay. Profit. What will be the next comic company to break out big into media movies? Oh, that might be a hard one for the crystal ball to answer, but we're going to try. Um, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. What does that say? Try again later. Concent concentrate and ask again. Stupid. Yeah. What Focus. is the next big Focus breakout? Money. My reply is no. Well, it's not a yes or no question. This thing is a piece of junk. I'll tell you what. We need to turn that down. We're getting some static on this thing. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> all right. So the next big breakout comic company for movies and TV. Wow, that's a tough one. Um, I am going to say IDW because <clears throat> last week it was announced uh, that IDW had just formed a partnership with uh, a Hollywood studio um, to develop their properties into in the movies and TV. So um, that's a big one to watch. Uh, in the next year or so, Eric, my friend, Eric Powell, who does The Goon, The Goon movie is going to be produced. It's an animated movie with Clancy Brown and Paul Giamatti. And so that could be a huge breakout. But I say watch for ID, IDW as a company. All right, what else we got, D? All right, this is from at Peachy Matt. What are, the peachy met. what are the chances that Dawn of Justice puts DC on the same level as the Marvel movie universe? Ooh. Is uh, DC going to match up with the Marvel universe? Let's see what my crystal ball says. Made from China. <laughs> Better not tell you now. <laughs> I say wait until the movie comes out before you say... <clears throat> you can't even compare it yet. No answer for you. The no only thing you can compare right now is rumors. So... Well, no, I'm, I'm going to lay it out on the line right now. Okay. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice, major blunder. It'll have a huge opening weekend. Everyone will talk about how bad it sucked, and it'll be gone in two weeks from the theater. Done. The prophet and, has spoken. And the DC movie universe will be, will be finished. They, they can't take another Green Lantern, Man of Steel failure. Yeah. So... That's my prediction. Man of Steel was a failure? It was. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It lost money. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> hey, you know, that's all right. Most people didn't. But, you know, yeah, I've never watched did. a Superman movie before, ever, so that's probably why. Oh, you've never seen the original I've 1978 seen, like, Superman? Maybe, like, flipping through the channels, like, oh, nah. <laughs> Let's see what else is on. No, oh. it wasn't 78. 1980, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Golly, it's been that long. Only giving, you would know, Robert. He's giving no, you that. The first one was like 78. 78, yeah. And 82 was the second one. Yeah, it's yeah. Man, it's been that long ago. Yeah. I can't believe it. You know what else has been that long ago? The first, Amy Suam, you ready for this? The debut album from Tears for Fears, 30 years old. Really? Jeez. Oh, Can you believe that? I don't want to believe that. <laughs> It's not possible. <laughs> you don't know what we're talking about. Everybody wants to rule the world. You don't know that song? No. Oh, I don't or like you anymore. The shout, song. shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things I oh, can you know do without. Come on. I'm talking to you. All right, that's enough of that. All right. <clears throat> We got a contest to get to. Yeah, we do. Big, big contest. We've been talking about it for two weeks. Woo! Finally. IMDb confirmed, 78. All right. I was right the first time. Excellent. Don't All right. yourself, Johnny. So, uh, Dee and Nancy, I want you guys to come on up here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we announced a contest Yay. here on the show. And we're going to draw the winner live tonight. So, I'm going to hand this to you. And... Um, I'm going to hand the prizes over to Leanna and Tina. This is our first prize. Now, here's what we're going to do. We had 2,000 entries. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Now, 
Next time Johnny comes up with the great idea to do an online Facebook contest, <laughs> remind him of how difficult it was to track every entry on our Facebook pages, multiple pages, every because I had to go and look who commented, who <coughs> shared, who, and then write them on a card and drop it in the box. We're so proud of you. I, you know, I didn't think ahead on that one, <laughs> but uh, it, it all worked out well. We had over 2,000 entries between Facebook and the entries at um, Murfreesboro Anime Comic Con. Right. Oh, wow. And um, so we're going to draw now. Now, we're going to draw first for the grand prize, but we're not going to look at who that is until after we draw the second and third prizes. Can I hold it? Can I, because I, I want everyone who entered, because there were some people who only had one entry. Yeah. I want everybody who entered, and especially the folks who entered at MAC, mm -hmm. to have a chance at the grand prize, because that's what we were drawing for at MAC. He's so, a nice guy. Yeah, this so we're going we're to draw that one first. Um, go ahead and shake it up really hard, Nancy. Yeah. Shake it yeah. up. Shake it up. Excellent, excellent. All right, so here, here's, here, let, let's talk about the grand prize first. So here's what we got. I'm so excited that we have If you'll take that, you'll take, we have 12 books in all, but this is the first prize. We're going to draw for this first, but we're going to hold off on naming the winner until we do the second and third. Five Batman graphic novels, Batman No Man's Land. And, um, That's what it was. Yes, yes. So we're gonna draw that. Go ahead and D. Go ahead and reach in there, D. Grab a good one. Reach. No looking. And we've got. Oh, you said you were gonna tell. We're not telling yet. We're not telling yet. <laughs> no. All right. That's the first one. All right. So now we're gonna draw for the uh, second prize, which is and that's you. what you have, Leanna, the uh, four books, the JLA uh, graphic novels and trade paperbacks. Let's see what we got here. All right, the winner of the second prize is Kyle Corley. Woo! Kyle Yay! Corley, Kyle. and you go, uh, Kyle. We're gonna be in touch with you via email. You gave us your email address, and we will mail these to you. So keep Let's that with those. Yes, stick that in the bag. All right, the third prize is Batman. Uh, three graphic novels. We got Cataclysm, Evolution. And uh, Officer Down. All right. All right. What do we got here? All right. All right. <laughs> this, well, actually, we, we you just drew oh, two. All right. Two. Okay. All right. This is another Kyle. Uh -oh. Kyle Mc McCann. Yeah, Kyle McCann. Let's go with that. Kyle. Yeah. So another Kyle. Kyle, you are the winner of our third prize. And uh, just slip that in there. All right, now we've already drawn the grand prize. And everybody else who entered, thank you. Thank you for entering. Thank you for liking, for posting, for sharing. And um, what? Nothing. It's the grand prize. You didn't say who got the grand prize. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to. So, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Awesome. So we got the uh, grand prize winner of Batman No Man's Land graphic novels. Drum roll, please. Tammy Love. Woo! Woo! Winner! We'll be sending these out. We'll contact you, get your address, and we'll be sending these out to you. Now, we're going to do these contests on a regular basis. And you know what's so special about doing this contest? What? We actually have the product in hand. Yes. And when you guys were signing up at Mac, you 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 were able to ask us, well, what are we signing up for? These, mm -hmm. and uh, that was a big that was a big big deal for us. And um, we're gonna have more giveaways. Um, I think our next giveaway is mm, mm, uh, maybe I shouldn't say. It will be soon. It, no, it, I've already got sponsors lined up for our next giveaways. Oh, yeah, we've got awesome. some, we've well, got some cool. retailers, Keep we've tuned. got some online. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, Stay yeah. Tuned. yeah I, don't want, I don't want to announce it yet because I, I, there's going to be more to it. But we're going to do these contests on a regular basis. So you get to win. And everyone who signed up at MAC, um, you guys get to go on our newsletter. Yay. So our monthly, once a month, we're, we're not going to harass you. Once a month, we're just going to let you know what's going on with the show. 
Everybody wants you to harass them <laughs> after exactly, those photos exactly. were released this week. Holy Girl, cow. What? Were you complaining? Passion rising. Or... Is that... I'm going to backhand you. Anyway. Week. No, I mean, you look good. Anyway, thank you very much, <laughs> Dee and Nancy, for helping us with our contest drawing. Watch the cords. Don't trip. All right. Excellent. Excellent. No, those were awesome pictures. Yes. They're awesome. Do you really want to learn how to belly dance? Yes. I, I know some teachers. I can hook you up. Hook a sister up. I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. All right. It is time now for our hot picks of the week, our cool picks. And um, I got a couple of really cool things. First of all, what I'm reading this week, uh, these are brand new on the shelves, on uh, comic store shelves near you. Uh, Captain Midnight, number 19. Mm. Great, great series. And it's, it's intense right now. Um, Flash Gordon number eight. I talked about this last week, but it wasn't out yet. So who is Flash Gordon? Is he like the Flash or no? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> don't hit me. He'll save that. every one of us. Actually, there's a great <laughs> scene in here. There's a great scene in here where he's given a press conference after they come back from uh, Earth, and someone's holding a sign that says, "He saved every one of us." <laughs> 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 you know, that's my son's nickname, Flash. Because when we first went, when, he, when, when my wife was pregnant with him, we went to hear the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. that, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> and all I could think of in my head was, Flash! Ah! <laughs> King I've, of heard that. I've heard the theme song, I guess, but I just Flash I've never Gordon seen it. Flash no. is one of the great heroes of the pulp era the 30s and 40s. Mm -hmm. um, he and Buck Rogers were created around the same time to compete against each other. Um, Flash fights against the forces of Ming the Merciless right. on Mongo. And um, this is a great updated retelling of the story. Um, fantastic writing by Jeff Parker, Evan Shaner. Unfortunately, it is the last issue of this series, but it ends on a perfect note. Just, oh. You know, you know when you've read a book or you've seen a movie that you are just so satisfied with how it ends? Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That was this for me. Yeah. I will talk about, yeah, something like that later in the show. Oh, my. Yeah. Um, also on shelves this week, Uncanny Avengers, number one. It's a brand new start to the Uncanny Avengers, a brand new uh, roster on the Unity Squad. Now, that's what I'm reading this week. I want to talk about my hot pick of the week, though. Now, I, didn't, I don't have the actual book in hand, but I printed some of the pages from the preview I got from Boom Studios. You know, Boom! Boom. Yeah. This is called Revelations, and it's by Paul Jenkins and Humberto Ramos. And it is a 250-page graphic novel oh, wow. that involves a murder mystery at the Vatican. Cardinal William Richelieu. Sound that sounds familiar? Like a book I've read. Um, well no, it's not it's not like what you're Angels thinking. No, 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 no. No, this is this is a supernatural um, story and it and it really delves into more of the supernatural elements and mystical elements of the Vatican. So here's the cover. Look at that. And I just gotta tell you. The artwork on this is the best I've ever seen from Humberto Ramos. It's all uh, pencil and watercolor paintings. And I'm just going to hold it up here for you so that you can see how beautiful this artwork is. It is unbelievable good. And for those of you listening on iTunes, you can hear the pages <laughs> in my fingers. I mean, this is just three pages of a 500 or 250 page book. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 500 single pages. I found out just how long it was today when I tried to print it at work. <laughs> I only meant to print the first page. I promise. I promise. Cancel. Cancel. Stop. You killed all of those trees. Yes, I did. I did. But anyway, so that's my hot pick of the week. Nice. Um, now, we got something very special that we're going to do before we get to your guys' uh, big news. We're, we're going to try something new tonight. Are we now? Yeah, we're going we're to give something a trial. Let's spice we've been, it up. We've been talking about a spinoff show. And so 
I, I want to bring on a very special guest tonight okay. to give her a tryout and okay. see what our audience thinks. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Get, oh, get your yeah. stuff. Come on. This is Miss Fabulous Alexandria the Great. Come on in here. Woo! All right. No, don't stand behind it. Stand right here. All right. Excellent. Now, Alexandria, yes. you are a big fan of Minecraft, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got some Minecraft toys that you want to show the audience and talk about. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Yeah. Well, go. It's all yours. Blind box thingies, is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what is a blind box? Can't see what's inside. So it's just <laughs> no. a mystery box? You're, you're just taking your chances on what you might get? Yeah. Here, do you need help? Oh, no, it's true. Okay. I'll <laughs> open this one up. Leanna, you want to open one up? Yeah. All right. So here, here, I'll get that one. You, you take that one. Open it up. Talk about what it is. Oh, look at this. They, they like, they, they put it in a box. It's already approved. And then they, they, they wrap it in another thing oh, that's like you could section. store nuclear could waste be in. Mistaken for chocolate. Yeah, it could be. Okay. What you, so, How much chocolate you anyway? So, what do you got? Oh, okay. Oh, I got the forest. Okay. Got, oh, that's hey. cute. That's one I wanted. That's one you wanted? Yeah. All right. Oh, I got. Uh, hold on. That's Steve? Yeah, that's Steve. I got it right. It's Steve. I got it right. <laughs> oh, I got like a zombie mini. villager. The zombie villager. Oh, and what is this? Apparently a pumpkin that looks oh, like a snowman. The uh, snow golem. Oh, the wow. The snow goblin? All right. Snow golem. 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 Oh, the so See, I don't play Minecraft. So, but you play Minecraft, and you love Minecraft. Yeah. What is your favorite part of Minecraft? Building? Yeah. And, and so what is the point of building? To build. What, what do you win? Who, who does Minecraft? Who made Minecraft? Uh, Notch. Notch? And what's the company? Um, Mojang. Yeah, you tell them, not me. Mojang. I know. And, and <clears throat> how often do they do updates? When's the next big update coming? I don't know. <laughs> I thought you would like lived and breathed. Minecraft. Well, I don't know when it's coming out, but I know what's going to be in it. What, what's going to be in it? Skins and maybe texture packs. What is the coolest thing that you've built in Minecraft? What's your most uh, favorite thing that you've built? Uh, oh. uh, a roller coaster. A roller coaster? You built a roller coaster, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, I got to tell you, this chick impressed the heck out of me one time. She comes, she goes, Daddy, look. And, and so she built this entire underground castle. She dug it out and built it up all underground, and it had a secret oh, yeah. entrance that nobody else knew except for her. It was epic. <laughs> it was awesome. Very good. Anything else you want to tell us about your uh, Minecraft yeah. mystery boxes? No. Are you happy with them? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, you can go play with them now. Okay. Bye-bye, Alexandria the Great. We're thinking about... Leanna, we're thinking about doing a, a kid's corner. I think we should definitely do it. My son is already all over it. Yeah, so so this is our tryout. If you liked seeing Allie, and, and if you would like to see her with a couple of other co-hosts her age, doing maybe 10 or 15 minutes a week. Yeah. Um, not on this show, but on a separate show. Totally yeah. on their Minecraft, own. Minecraft, Pokemon, what's that? Digimon. Digimon. Yeah. Digital uh, Monsters. Something, God, something else. Cody Loco or... I don't know. Uh, Who knows? <laughs> they know. They know. They know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you'd like that, send us an, uh, an email or tweet us at Live Comics with an X and let us know if you want to see a Kids Corner yeah. show. That would be awesome. All right. So your turn, Leanna. Guess who watched Agent Carter on the night that it aired? <laughs> Did you really? What did you First think? First time ever. I thought it was great. Yeah. Awesome. I thought it was great. And there's something that happens, and I'm not going to say because, but I called it. Did I not? Yeah. I was like, oh, that's, that's, da, da, da. and then it happened. That's, and I was like, yeah. All right, cool. It was good. It was yeah, good. I'll be watching Very it tonight good. when we finish here. <laughs> and then I'll be doing our Agent Carter roundtable for the Diesel Powered Podcast 
tomorrow night. Right. So that'll air tomorrow, and you guys can catch that on the Diesel Powered Podcast. Nice. And you caught Gotham. I did. This week. And Mooney's gone. What? Mooney's gone, and the, she made a badass exit. We'll try to with the penguin, and he is the penguin, and he groveled, and it looked really, really pathetic, and then she had to leave him at the end. But the part that confused me is her making out with the dude. I forget the dude. Oh, the dude. Oh, 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 oh. I've not seen the show since episode two. partner. Not Jim Gordon. I don't know his name. I don't Bullock. know his name. Bullock. Is it? Is it? Yeah. 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 That threw me off. Yeah. yeah. What made me so sad was uh, Butch. Yeah. Butch. He went in and saved her and pulled her out of the and tortured her. I miss you, Butch. I know, yeah, rest in peace. You don't you know, know. Well, he's not dead yet. You don't know what happened to him. Don't know. This, this has just kind of turned into a roundtable discussion now. Yay. It's all right. No, it's good. It's good. That's why But I here. think there's only like three more episodes left of the season. That makes me sad. Yeah, any, any truth to the rumor that it's getting canceled? I mean, there no. not be. No, there's not. No. It's already I wish. Been, it's already been renewed. Hey, you get the back. <laughs> you watch it. Ugh. So do you have a red box pick? I do. It is it's not a red box pick pick, it's a Netflix pick. Oh, and it's wait, a wait. and it has to do with that. Yes. Are we gonna watch the trailer? Yeah, well this is the the trailer for season three of Hannibal. Okay. The first two seasons of Hannibal have been incredible. Wait, wait, wait. Of what? <laughs> of what? Hannibal? Hannibal. Hannibal. I'm not even going to try. Hannibal. It's never Hannibal. It's, it's with, it should be spelled with an E instead of an A. But that says ball. Hannibal is something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> what Tell is it? It's a Hannibal. 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 There you go. Oh, there you go. Hannibal. All right. Well, so they you, should have spelled it with the so E. So you've not seen the trailer yet. <laughs> You've not seen the season three? I have not <laughs> seen the season. Hooked on phonics. Hooked <laughs> on phonics. All right, here we go. Doesn't work for me. We're, we're okay, gonna, here's the trailer. We're going to watch Leanna and watching the trailer. I'm shocked because at the end of season two, all the he, he just butchered everybody, yeah, let's see all what, the main characters, just because good. they found out something. He was just like, okay, well, I'm going to start over and just kill all y'all in one swoop. And one of them didn't die, which is my favorite character. <laughs> I love, to him. Him. I love him. I love him. I am here to take someone from him. And there's a Chinese lady, which I think she may be related. <laughs> wait, 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 oh, wait. I think she might be related to him. This is the politically incorrect edition of Comic Extravaganza Live. Chinese lady. It is. <laughs> oh, who's that? That is Hannah. They don't know. I haven't got an exact date when it's going to start. I tried to look for that online today and couldn't find it. But yes, that makes me happy. Y'all, if you haven't seen Hannibal, then get it on Netflix. It's, well, I get it through disc. I'm pretty sure you can get it streaming. Hannibal. <laughs> Hannibal, not Hannibal. <laughs> that was intense. Yep, yep. Looks right. good. Looks good. Maybe I need to check it out. All right. Yeah. Tina, your picks of the week. What's up? All right. So, for anyone that's in Nashville... We're playing little musical places here. Maybe she shouldn't be in front of this thing. Yeah, you kind of disappear. Can you, can you not see me, guys? No. no. No, this thing is as big as your head. <laughs> Anyways, so for my fans in Nashville, the Cherry Blossom Festival is coming back. Um, it's going to be April 11th. It's a Saturday in the morning. I, I loved it. I went last year. I got to see a whole bunch of performances. And side acts like uh, there was a guy that uh, crafted or craft made crafts. There we go. 
<laughs> from wax, like right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. He had and wax. Did he play Hannibal? <laughs> Shut up. It didn't. Anyways. But yeah, and then some of you out there will get that joke. <laughs> and then the foods are amazing. Oh my gosh! And so they have just like different programs, and I just really would recommend anyone that's in the natural area on April 11th. It's it's morning. It's yeah. free. Yeah. Go. Alex and you'll free. be there. And I will definitely be there. So you can now, go and see Tina Vita. Yes, you can. If you can find her. Just don't stop me, please. The sea of people. <laughs> don't what? Don't stop me. Just say hello. I'm friendly. I think you have a stalker on your Facebook page. I think you do. His name's Johnny. Yes. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> I can't. I, no. He, know, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. He he used to stalk D. Barty. Uh, well, right now he's fine, so I don't know about him, so it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, it'll all come out. <laughs> what else you got? Anything? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Done? Don't you freak me out, <laughs> But yeah, uh, The Legend of Zelda's Symphony of the Goddesses or Massacres. It was awesome. Final note. Did you get the news story I sent you this week about them re-releasing Zelda 2, The Adventure in the Link? The original Nintendo epic? Wow. Did you read that story? No, I sent it to you for no apparent reason. <laughs> Well, you, I, you send me a lot of stuff. I sent it you to are you, maybe she'll, tell, maybe she'll tell me. Hey, how Johnny else fam. are you supposed to be prepared for this show? Was I not prepared? Am I not talking right now, Harvey? I thought Was so. it, Did you send it on the interwebs? Yes. <laughs> Email. Email. Oh the way, God, the way business here. people do things. That's me on the computer. Yeah, I just do this. Anyway. Well, I speaking. I stuff from you. Yeah, well, okay, so. I like the gamer stuff. Well, okay, so I send you all of the previews that we get mm -hmm. because you might want to read them. You might want to, and, and, and Nancy and Dee love it because they're getting all the previews. And, uh, and so I send, you, <laughs> I send everyone that, and then I try to send news stories that are specific to you, like the Nintendo Legends of Zelda. Do you know how much Adventures time of I Blink have? Nintendo story. And how... Much email to get from you. I give up. I, I give you. up. I love you today. I give up. I love you today. I, it's time for Amy and Paul with <laughs> the Nerdy News. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> this way. All right. Um, What's going was, on, everybody? I was thinking about the Flash Gordon thing. There was a uh, a British guy uh, from the Labour Party named Gordon Brown, and his whole marketing campaign was No Flash, Just Gordon. And I was like, that's kind of brilliant. I really. I really like that, except that he was a dopey looking British dude. So it wasn't Is there like any other kind. No, no, there's not. Um, Why do you pat me like I'm British? <laughs> you look dopey and British. You know, I'm British. That's how it works. No, I was just saying, like, you look dopey. Shh. Oh. You're so pretty. God, you. All right, so we're going to talk about some news. Uh, Hooray. What do we got? I've got a couple things written down on the list. Is there anything in particular you had in mind? I want to talk about so, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters? Ooh. Ghostbusters? Who are you going to call? Uh, so yeah, uh, if you haven't been keeping track of that, they've revealed, they've pretty, they haven't officially revealed the whole cast, but they showed a picture of pretty much everybody on the cast. It's a all-female Ghostbuster team this time, um, three of which are Saturday Night Live alumni. Uh, we got, uh, Kristen Wiig, um, Leslie Jones, and Kate McKinnon, and then, uh, Melissa McCarthy is also going to be on there. So uh, that should be interesting. I don't know what to expect yet. Uh, I guess the original director isn't touching it, so I don't know what the details are on that. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it should be fun. Yeah, my, my reaction when I saw the news was, at least this time they don't have to worry about crossing streams. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> Um, on other news, a, a, a figurine of Boba Fett, one of the original figurines of Boba Fett, sold on auction for $27,000 recently. Wow. Um, In so... other news, my brother's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's uh, Boba Fett's that other mask guy from Star Wars. The other Ish. mask guy. I know the one Boba... that's not Darth Vader. I know who Boba Fett is, you jerk sure. person. Jerk sure person. you do. Um... Personally, for me, I'm excited about this. I don't know who all else the gamers out there, but Square Enix just recently showed a teaser for Project Z. 
they haven't revealed what that is. They're going to be revealing what it is on January 31st. I'm excited for it. All they have right now is a website that's just got one picture that's got a silhouette of a Z with a couple, three pictures that just cycle behind it that's like a big tree and forests and like a dungeon thing. So it's not your normal Square Enix like fantasy future world that it's been going to lately. So I'm hoping that maybe it's a secret of mana thing. It's but, a game where people take naps. But <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that. But we'll find out on January 31st and hopefully I can tell you next week. Um, Aquaman. Uh, so Jason Momoa just announced. <laughs> All the ladies going, mm -hmm. and Paul going, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> just announced uh, Aquaman will not be blonde. <gasps> he is not dyeing his hair for the film. Um, so, big shocker if Sorry. Aquaman even makes it to the screen, like uh, He's, like, so like we were saying earlier, I don't know if Batman versus Superman is going to do it well. I don't think it will. Aquaman's still going to be only talking to the fish, so no one will still give a crap. <laughs> They'll be like, Aquaman Well, the thing gone? is, if they keep him underwater, it could be a good movie. It's just when he's in held in comparison with the Justice League, he just falls. They're like, hey, what? Aquaman, how's the sushi feel? Sad? Are they sad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we used to call a fish slap. <laughs> yeah. No fish slapping. <laughs> Uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 has recently announced that they're going to be implementing microtransactions into their game. Uh, those are those annoying things that pay more to get more lives and stuff. And that's what they're planning on doing. They're planning on implementing microtransactions for you to be able to do continues in their, uh, what mode is it? Um, on their raid mode. I don't know what the raid mode is. But either way, they're also saying that you can get these continues through daily content as well. I don't know why they're making a Resident Evil game, which is typically a single-player or two-player co-op game, have dailies like it's an MMORPG. Um, I'm a little frustrated with that, but that tends to be the trend that most games are going at this point in time. Getting a little big for their britches, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to suck as much money out as they can, come up with unfinished games so that everything is DLC afterwards. A corporation wants to make as much money as I know, possible on their ridiculous. products? That is insane. Who well, does that? Here's the thing, guys. If you don't like the idea of it, don't buy the product, and they'll stop doing stuff. Not like gonna that. happen. No, it's not. Um, Fantastic Four teaser trailer came out, oh. and I don't care. Because <laughs> <laughs> who cares about the Fantastic Four? Shut up. Uh, I, I was surprised to see so many people losing their minds over the Human Torch. Oh, about mm -hmm. how they changed his ethnicity? Yeah, they changed the, his ethnicity. And at first I was like, this is really great. We're moving forward as a, as a society. And then I was like, why are we setting the black guy on fire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was really happy and then really sad, which is generally how my day goes, just with everything. Like I wake up in the morning... And I eat breakfast, and then I get. And then I set you on fire. Yes, and you set me on fire. <laughs> and yes. Um, so, despite recent price reductions, uh, Xbox sales are still down. They're still losing this generation of console wars. Let me which just for shock. I totally called. Mm -hmm. uh, Sony, I think, learned from their mistake with the PlayStation Three and are doing pretty well for themselves right now, as is evident with their sales. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what the Xbox can do. I think Xbox is right now currently catering too much to the bro market, which was the problem with the original Xbox. So we'll see if it can change or augment it. I know a lot of people think that there's really no difference between the two, and really there isn't other than third-party games. Um, but uh, again, we'll see. I'm we'll just see. not surprised that Xbox is not doing as yeah, well. Yeah, that's not really games. a shock. No. Um... Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Netflix is reach is uh, delivering another original series. It's going to be the Wet Hot American Summer series. Um, they're taking the original film that had uh, Amy or, or Amy Poehler in there, uh, Michael Ian Black, all those great comedic actors. It was a great movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, I think it's on Netflix. So make sure and check it out. And they're going to be doing an eight series show on that. Which is it uh, going to have the same? Same, Same cast. Bradley Cooper's in there. Amy Poehler's in there. Paul Rudd's in there. It's got a lot of cameos in that movie because this was before this. That movie came out before any of them were really big. Like I think it was while Amy Poehler was on Saturday Night Live. Um, Elizabeth Banks was on there too. And then uh, let's see if we want to go over 
Last piece of, of news here. This one threw me off. Uh, Kevin Spacey, dramatic actor oh, yeah, that yeah. everybody loves, um, especially from, as uh, Frank Underwood in House of Cards, is recently decided to uh, perform in the movie Nine Lives, which, if you haven't heard anything about this, here's the gist you of it. You shouldn't be surprised. A workaholic businessman who suffers a terrible accident that leaves him trapped in the body of the family cat. <laughs> I hope this is done as That's a, epic. I hope it's done as a satirical thing because if not, uh I believe as we saw from the Shaggy Dog, this what, is the Tim first Allen? of the four horsemen of the Your Greer's Over Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin Spacey, I'm so sorry to see you go. Oh. And uh, am I the only one in the group that wants Gotham to be canceled? Yes. 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 Oh, that reminds me. We were talking about Gotham and the Penguin just, just as a villain in general. And I said, I was like, the Penguin is like Morrissey if he were a villain. And you'll only get that if you were into that like 90s really sad rock thing. But he was the dude with the mohawk <laughs> and the like all black that wore fishnet I just, sweaters and cried in the corner. And that's who the penguin reminds me of. I just, I can't get over the pilot. Like, we've watched every single episode of it so far. I'm I. And I, yeah, I hate, there's no subtlety in that show at all. Like, no if more they're riddles, talking to... Enigma. What's with the riddles, Enigma? I feel like we're just an episode away from being just that guy who's like, what are you, a joker, joker? Always joking around with your jokes, you joker? Like, <laughs> can we do hints or it's subtlety. Like, like Ivy's name is not, not Ivy. Ivy. It's nope. Pamela. Yep. Why is she being called Ivy in the show? I don't. They know. don't want to confuse people who aren't don't know anything about Batman, which would be that can't be anybody. That can't. There, there are people. Who, there can't be people who don't know the backstory of all the Batman characters. No, there are plenty of people, but that doesn't mean you can't have subtlety. Like you could have said. What? Uh, <clears throat> we had a really something that Agent really? Carter is doing really well. I haven't watched any of Agent Carter yet. I don't even know what the gist of, really, of the show. Because I haven't watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. either. So, not really. Paul has a lot of of, uh, MMORPGing to do every (laughs) evening. And um, his friends on the interwebs keep him very busy. And when they're not, someone's asking incessantly for cuddles. Because she needs attention to stay alive. (laughs) I'm like Tinker. I'm like Tinkerbell. I need applause to live. Yeah. All right. So I think that's everything. Yay! Yay! Stop clapping. She'll keep living. All right. All right. Wait. Don't, don't okay. go away yet. Don't okay. go away yet. Because we got to plug it. We got to plug our con organizer friends mm-hmm. bringing this whole crew to their cons. And you want to do that. You want that so much. You want to see these two doing their stand up on stage with the other unlockable characters. You want to see Big Daddy Cool and the Bombshell Kittens laying down a smoking groove so cool, it'll make you flip your lid. Can you dig that? I knew that you could. And you want to have awesome panels from the unlockable characters, from Big Daddy Cool, from the Cosplay Collective. We can do it all for you. I also want to suggest that we do a panel on why Amy's hair is amazing. I just feel like it would be a good panel to do. I wonder that every time. Should that be in a cosplay panel? It could be. It could be. We you got to do that, that for me, right? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Cool. We could yeah. totally do that. Cool. The answer is contrast of your face. <laughs> God, I hate you. I hate anyway, go to BigDaddyCoolShows.com. Get all of the details on how you can have the Comic Extravaganza Live crew come and make your con awesome. Amazing. It'll be super. We'll fill super all your duper. programming holes. Yep. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, you know what? Wait, while you guys are here, I got a question. So the Super Bowl is this week. The Super Bowl, super like Hannibal. Okay. Oh, Super Bowl. Yeah, you yeah. think? Wait, wait. Do you think all the Hannibal balls will be uh, inflated they properly? Will. They'll be at the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's how you definitely know it's a nerd show when the Super Bowl is this weekend and. Yeah, nobody, nobody cares. cares. Nobody cares. It's, no. it's a ping pong championship, right? Is that what they I'm going to be at Steak and Shake with my daughter having, <laughs> yeah. that, having some chili bag supreme. They make they make sports on the grass thing? I don't know. I <laughs> sports ball. Sports ball, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sports. Anyway, the unlockable characters, Amy and Paul, give it up for them. All right, before we go, we got one last segment. We got to bring on Nancy Arch of uh, Cosplay, Collect- uh, Cosplay Collectibles. Cosplay Collective. One collective, 
Now, last week you saw her do uh, Steampunk Catwoman. Yeah. This week she is here to talk to us about one of her favorite games. Um, not not gaming games, not with not video phones, games. not video games, but old-fashioned analog, face-to-face, -face, human interaction. Who knew? Which I love. I'm not. I'm, I play video games once in a while, but I'm really into board games, card games, and you know, I chess. Anybody out there want to challenge me? No, you know what? I'm undefeated for 25 years in Monopoly. I challenge anybody in the audience to come play me at a con. I will destroy you. I've right. got Legend of Zelda awesome. Monopoly at home. Awesome. I do too. I do too. So right. what do you got? Well, I got a game here. It's a card game. And it was created in 2004 for Atlas Games uh, by Keith Baker. And the name of the game is called Gloom. Oh, I feel so sad. All kind of sounds ominous, but it really isn't. Okay. Uh, the basic premise of this game is that each player picks a family. Okay? Five members of each family. And like any family, good things happen and bad things happen. And you've heard the saying, the more you suffer in this life, the greater you reward in the next. It's kind of what this game is about. Because you want your family to die with the least amount of points. Okay? Again, it well, sounds I like it. I could play that game like a boss. <laughs> Again, it sounds it sounds morbid, but it really isn't. Okay? How you achieve this game, or how you achieve points, or negative points, is there are t uh, three types of cards in the game. We have modifiers. They are happy things which give you positive points, and sad things that give you negative points, okay? Now you play the cards on any family member. So they can be played on your family members or your opponent's family members. I'll give you an example. I have a modifier card in my hand that is worth positive 10 points. Like the camera can see that, whatever. <laughs> um, and it says, Found fame at a feast. And the little tagline says, It's easy to be the life of the party when the guests keep dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's the Amy, thing. did you write that? That sounds like something you would say. <laughs> I wish. I Maybe. wish I had. That's then I have mean. a negative points modifier. This one is worth 30 negative points. And it says, Was taunted by tigers. And it says, Jumping through hoops isn't as fun when you're the one in the cage. Okay? So you can play, a, so if you were strategizing, again, negative points. You don't want, you want the least amount of points. So you would probably play this modifier on one of your family members and the positive one on another, on an opponent's family member. Right? Right? So they also have event cards. And event oh, she got cards, all excited about event cards. I know. Event cards change the modifiers. They also give you maybe an extra turn or an extra draw in the, in the pile, in the deck. This one happens to say, a chance to begin again. And it says, discard all the modifiers on one of your living characters. So let's say you have a character who has positive points. You can use this event card and take away the positive points. Okay? Pretty cool. Right. Or, if your neighbor over there has 50 negative points, you can take all those negative points off of them. The last cards that they have are untimely death cards. This is what dun, you dun, need dun, to dun. do dun, 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 to kill off your family. And the, the game ends <laughs> with the whole family. I know, this oh, sounds weird, but it's not. So the game ends when all the family members are dead. Okay, not, not, not necessarily yours, but it could be an opponent's family members, etc. This untimely death card says, was baked into a pie. It says, dead but delicious. <laughs> if, if I have to have an untimely death, if I have to be murdered, I want to be baked into a pie. Exactly. That's the way to go. That is what everybody wants to have happen. Okay? So, as you can tell, the cards are funny. And they lend themselves to having like a little story time. So if you have a really creative group that you're working with, you can tell stories along the way about 
why your family member was taunted by tigers, or how you ended up in the pie factory. When are we gonna have a game night at your house to play this? I am ready whenever you want to. Okay, we gotta do it. Now, I gotta know, for our viewers, how long does an average game take? About an hour. About an hour, all right, it's so. Fr this, this, this version, the original version, plays two to four players. Okay. But there are expansion packs which allow for more families, ergo, more people can play. Awesome. Yeah. More so people to die. There, uh, I have two of the expansion packs. I know I'm probably going off camera. Um, this one is called the Unquiet Dead, and it gives you little modifiers in here that can A, bring your, your dead relative back to life, and it can also make you into a ghost, a werewolf, a zombie. I want to be a werewolf. So these cards you can put into the regular uh, pack and play. Now this one doesn't have an extra family, but this one does. This is called Unfortunate Expeditions. Ooh. And this is super cool because you get another family in this, so that's five people that can play. And it gives you an opportunity to take the table to another location, like a gloomy location, like a haunted castle or a haunted island, and you get certain points as you, uh, if you die on the, these locations, okay? I love the idea of this game. Yeah, it's super fun. I really want to play this. Yeah, yeah, it's super fun. So uh, you can get it on uh, Amazon. You can also go to Atlas Games. If you're fortunate, like we are, Johnny, who live in a bigger city that have gaming stores, mm -hmm. that's where we got these. Uh, some comic stores sell games, too, so just check around, but always on Amazon. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Excellent. We're going to do, uh, do gaming reviews with Nancy on a regular basis, not every week, but from time to time, at least yeah. once a month. And right. so... Uh, if you like her game review, and if you want to find out more about Gloom, you can tweet us at Live Comics with an X. Yeah. And uh, that would be awesome. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. All right. Well, hey, it is time to say goodnight. So I want Tina and Leanna to join me up here one last time. we got a couple of things we need to share. Um, next up here. Oh, are you tired, sweetheart? It's a little. Shh, baby. Will you be my pillow? I will. I will. And I can keep you warm all night long. <laughs> See, you knew I was going there. Why didn't you even open it up? You, you be my <laughs> Oh, she'll keep you warm all night long, too. I don't mind too. it. Mm. Anyway, um, our next appearance, our next con that we're working, um, Franklin Comic and Toy Show, March 8th. That's a Sunday. Woo! Mark Ballard's Woo! Comic City Conventions, one of our uh, cohorts and, and sponsors. He'll be on the show hopefully next week to talk more about that. Yeah, but uh, awesome. we'll be there. And then Marble City Comic Con. Um, they do an awesome con in Knoxville, April 25th and 26th. We're going to be there um, doing panels, performances, contests, the whole... The whole powerhouse group of Comic Stravaganza Live, we're going to be there. Um, and then uh, February 22nd in Nashville, it's a Sunday night, um, Big Daddy Cool and the Bombshell Kittens are going to be performing for Old Time, Old Times in Music City. It's an uh, a, a, a electro swing DJ show. And I'm excited for it. Yeah, we're going to be performing in between sets, and so that'll yeah. be cool. You can come out and see us. Uh, you can find out more about that on on Facebook, on our Facebook page. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Had to think about that for a minute, uh, the, the electric friendship generator. All right. <clears throat> um, yeah, oh, I just lost my balance there. Um, do you guys Stop know? Drinking. I you I've been drinking Sprite and ginger ale for seven days. Because you remember last week, well, you know, you weren't here, but when we were going live, I started having hiccups. And oh. I ended up. I've seen their Facebook. I've seen their Facebook. Seven, seven days, every three seconds for seven days, accompanied by heartburn and acid reflux. I have been miserable until 10 o'clock last that night. sounds pleasant. You All of a sudden, it just stopped. Like, mm. I'm going, every three seconds, and then all of a sudden, gone. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Is that why you started well, growing like the little? I shaved it. Yeah. <laughs> I shaved it. Shave while you got to Normally it's there, but I shaved it. 
Oh, well, I knew something was different. Yeah. <laughs> it's still there, I just turned it way back. Because I have a job interview tomorrow, so. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Somebody might be watching at work. They're not watching. All right, so one last thing before we go. Uh, you can watch the show on YouTube on playback. Yes, it's about an hour. We know that's long for YouTube, but you know what? Listen in the background at work. You can yeah. play it in the background at work, just like you do Kevin Smith's Bat Fat Man on Batman. Fat Man? Yeah, Fat Man on Batman. That's what it's called. Um, or, or, you know, uh, just put it on at, at work. Or if you only want to listen to the audio version on your iPod while you're driving, you can uh, download it on iTunes. And uh, did you guys know we hit number 23 on, on the performing arts ranking? Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so moving on up to the east side. So, yeah, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. And we would love your support. Yes. Um, you can tweet us at Live Comics uh, anytime. Let us know what you think of the show. But also, I'm going to put a little donation link in the notes on YouTube because... If you like the show, you could help us expand our studio. Get better lights, better sound, better Can we cameras. Get heat? Better <laughs> heat. No, there's heat. There's heat. It's just way over it's there. It's over in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It keeps us Plugged moving. The wall. It keeps us. It makes me tired. I've got blankets. <laughs> I'll, bring, I'll bring blankets out. Next time. Oh, please, please. You will put you in a snuggie. I got a snuggie. I oh. got a snuggie. All right, you know so what? Really okay. No, 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 no. Have you ever tried a snuggie? I know it's the most ridiculous looking thing until you try it. I got it. a robe. I'll bring you it. You can put it on backwards. Same thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thing. exactly. Oh, I've got an idea for next week's show. Cool. Also, we're still uh, looking for pros and cons for public nudity. So uh, send those to us on Facebook or live comics on Twitter. And uh, that'll be awesome. Uh, also, check out our other related shows, the Diesel Powered Podcast. Tomorrow's Agent Carter Roundcast will go up on iTunes. And um, Monday's Diesel Punk Comics Microcast. So check those out, and uh, that will be awesome on iTunes. Well, that's it. That's it for this week. Um, I don't know what else to say. Thank you to, um, thank you to Rick Fink and the Gas House Gorillas for our, uh, for our theme song. And thank you to Mark Ballard and our sponsors, GraphicPolicy.com. Check Thank them you. out for all your latest news. Um, Comic Bento, check the uh, show notes below to find out how you can get a mystery Bento box of comics in your mailbox every month for less than 20 bucks. Woo! I thought we were talking nice. about sushi. I was like, yes. Yeah. Blue Microphones, they sponsor us and provide us with the uh, Yeti microphone. As well as Audible. If you're into audiobooks, check out audibletrial.com. <laughs> And uh, there's a link in our show notes. And all of those things help us. Mm -hmm. they, they, they help us grow the show and advertise the show and upgrade equipment. And, and if, you're, if you want to be a guest on the show, send us an email, send us a tweet, let us know. If you want to sponsor the girls' clothing, <laughs> give them T-shirts to wear. Yeah, that's okay. a great idea. Yeah. I was about to say, I, or, like, I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> no, oh, 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 we're, nice oh, too. <laughs> wait, wait until we get into the eBay auctions. Oh, golly. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for tonight. That is Comic Extravaganza Live from the Houdini Room at the Casa de Cool. Until the next time, swing hard, swing often. We'll catch you on the flip side.